Hi guys, we're back. <laughs> I've been doing so many live videos on so many different platforms that I, in order to be able to share the screen, I have to start the recording in horizontal mode. And I've been doing a lot of live videos by myself. So I've been doing them in vertical mode and I just like my, my brain flip flopped it. So um, I'm gonna wait for my mom to hop back on. Anyway, just goes to show you don't have to be great at technology to be able to make this work. Um, so we, uh, <clears throat> we have been on a crazy whirlwind summer of travel uh, we were up been all over the place and we just were in in canada this past weekend doing some doing a little tour of events for our team and so we were sad that we missed it and uh weren't able to to get on here live with you so i'm bringing her on now hi i started the video hi. in vertical on accident i don't know what i, I saw doing. that <laughs> <laughs> don't ever give me shit <laughs> i will too i always will <laughs> Hey, um, hi everybody. I'm up here in Canada in Whistler. I've never been here, even though I lived really near here for a long time. And I can't believe that I've never been up here. I wish I could show you the picture from my room. I don't see, think you can see it because it's too bright, but I'm looking out over the mountains and we're staying at this fancy schmancy Fairmont Chateau. Our company's putting this up on this elite retreat. We're awesome. fancy. <laughs> we're so fancy. You are fancy. So great. Hey guys, thanks for jumping on. Let us know where you are in the world. We'd love to hear from you. Comment below and make sure that you invite your teams onto this because we always have valuable content for, for you and you can share this after it's done recording too. But I wanna ask you a quick question. And if I could show you a way that you could easily and effortlessly create valuable content for your Facebook or, or any kind of social media post for emails that you're writing, for blog posts that you're writing, just communicating. Would that be of interest to you? Hi, Mindy. Hi, Ruby. Nice to have you guys. Um, so would that be of interest to you? If that would be of interest to you, give me a one in the comments below. Hi, Robin Huntington. Cool. Awesome, awesome to have you here. Awesome. So we're, so we're Jake and Joy from jakeandjoy.com. And um, today we've been, in the, we've been in the network marketing industry for over 23 years. And today we're going to be talking to you about an easy way to create the exact perfect content for the person that you're trying to attract to you, either as a customer or as a team member. So would that be exciting to you if we could show you an easy way to do that consistently? Give us a two if, that, if, that, if, you're, if you agree with that. That would be awesome. Okay. So what happens for most of us is that we, it doesn't matter if you're in network marketing or social media or you're an artist, Robin Huntington, it doesn't really matter what field you're working in. You have to decide who you're trying to appeal to. Because if you're trying to appeal to everyone, you're going to end up appealing to nobody, right? Like we all like get into this whole thing and we don't want to be polarizing and we don't want to limit who we're talking to because we think that then we'll miss out on that perfect person for our business or for our music or for whatever it is. But really you have to decide, you have to get really, really, really clear about who your avatar is. And we've been talking about this now. It's so important. We've been talking about it for the last two weeks because Jake and I have resisted doing this in 23 years and we've been really successful. Um, Jake for five and me for 23. We've been really successful just kind of pot shotting it. So a lot of people get confused about what a target market is and, and who your avatar is. Jake, you want to say a little bit about that? Yeah. So that, that's, and, and, and if you're, if you know who your target market is, that's awesome. That's a great first step to let you, that you have identified that. But um, so a target market is something that's a little, it's, it's, it's broader. So a target mar market might be like, okay, I'm, I want to work with, I have customers who are women between the ages of 25 and 45 who they're interested in, you know, health and wellness or whatever, whatever product your company is selling or whatever, like, you know, thing that you're doing, whatever, com whatever, like your company is, is into. And that's awesome. That's, that's, it's like a first step. And that's awesome. But, it, but when you creating a customer avatar, you want to get so specific and you actually want to create an actual person. So it's not someone that, you know, so my avatar couldn't be my mom. Like, right. So it couldn't, it's like, it's gotta be, it can be a combination of, some, of people that, you know, but you want to actually create this character um, so that you can th actually picture her, him or her in your mind. You know, what's happening in their life. Who are they? What's important to them? You know, the ins and outs of their life as if they were your best friend. And yeah. so, so you're going to give them a name. You're going to yeah. like give them a specific age. It's not going to be like women between the ages of 35 and 45. It's going to be a specific age. So like you know, your avatar is named Debbie and she, you know, that, I'm just making that up and she's 45 years old. Does she have kids? Is she married? Um, does, does she work? Is she fitness minded? What does she read? Um, so the whole 
exercise that Jake and I really got into. So that's why I wanted to do one more week of this is because um, the last time we talked about avatars, we hadn't done this workshop. And even though we've been taught this now for a while, we have not done it. And uh, I, so now every time we write a, a blog post or we do a Facebook Live or we write um, an email, anytime we do any of that, we're talking to this avatar that we've created, right? Yeah. So does that, like, does that help you a little bit to think about like, oh, I could write copy just for this one person. Like what if you were writing, say for example, you had an avatar that was very much like who you think I am, right? So every time you wrote, you were actually writing specifically to me. It would be almost like you'd be saying, dear Joy. Right. You know, right. I just found these really cute shoes that I really think you'd like. And by the way, I'd love you to join my business. Or, you know, I'm being, I'm being facetious, of course. But um, Jake, yeah. you have something more to say about that? Yeah. So you want to get as specific and as detailed as you possibly can. And because that lets you really flush out who this person is. And the thing, the thing that can be hard is it feels counterintuitive. To do that it feels like oh no i'm gonna like i'm narrowing my scope so much that i want to miss out on so many people and but what really happens is you're gonna you like you're gonna speak directly to the person that you're trying to attract whether they're they're not gonna obviously not gonna be exactly not gonna be debbie but they're gonna be somebody who fits into that mold and you're also gonna attract people who don't necessarily exactly fit into that mold because something you're saying is specific enough it's direct enough it's it's like meaningful enough that it's gonna attract some other people who are kind of similar and it's also going to repel the people that you don't want to be attracting right so and and so you know when you're talking when you're trying to talk to everybody when you're like putting a message out there that's for everyone that's not not going to offend anyone not going to do anything to anyone you're not attracting you're not really speaking to anybody right you're trying to speak to everyone let, let, let me, let me give an example of that let me give an example of that for example um there are a lot of people who have really strong religious beliefs and usually people who have really strong religious beliefs are not afraid to say them on their social media stuff right but if you don't have strong religious beliefs or if you have if you have spiritual beliefs that you think people are going to have like some kind of uh like thing about it you don't say it so like jake and i really believe thank you Catherine. um jake and i really believe that the universe is always looking out for us we believe in the law of attraction and we, and we believe that that um you know that we can train our brains to attract into our our world that which is is best for us we believe that so we want to attract other people that think the same way because that's the that's the wavelength that we're on and if people don't think that way they're probably not going to want to they'll probably think that we're like nutcases right, right? Well, and, then, and I, have an, I have another example that i was actually sharing with somebody last night so i i swear like i like i swear and i up until this point i don't put any swearing on any of my posts i like keep it really super clean but the thing is that like if, if i attracted somebody to my team with my social media platform and they came to our team our whole team swears we're a bunch of heathens and they would be not be a good fit for our team and they would probably be they probably would have a really hard time fitting in with our team you guys so, aren't a bunch of heathens you're just a bunch of swears a bunch of you, swearing you have people heathens. from all different religious beliefs we do team, we but, do but, but, but we, all, bunch we of swears. all swear right but we all <laughs> swear and so if someone was if someone was offended by swearing and they they joined our team they came into our into our world and they saw they they heard and saw that we were swearing all over the place that would probably turn them off and it, and it would waste their say, time. They'd say, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> oh shit. But it wasted <laughs> their time and our time because now they're not, because they're not a good fit. So you want to make sure that you are putting out who you are and you're talking to your, your avatar specifically so that you're, again, attracting who you want and repelling who's not going to be a good fit for your team. Does that make sense? Cool. So um, let us know if you got value out of this. There's a lot more in depth and we're going to tell you how you can get more of that training if you want it. But if you got some value out of what we gave you today, just the little bit that we gave you, give us a three below. A couple weeks ago, we did give you an assignment of creating your own avatar. And I don't know how many of you did it or not. We don't, um, we're not, we're not the boss of you. So we, <laughs> so we can't make sure that you've done it. If you're on our team, um, we are making sure that you do that. And we do exercises around this all the time. If you want to know more about being part of our team, let us know. We'd love to have you. Um, we'd love to have you join us. If you don't already have a home or you're looking for a new one, we'd love to have you be working with us. But if you would like to get more of this training that we've been getting, um, we've been getting this through an organization outside of our network marketing business. And we get started with some free stuff, which you guys can get if you go to jakeenjoy.com. You can get our, our free boot camp and you can do that. But also there's a little course that we did and it was the start of all of this and jake's gonna post a link to it that gives you a discounted price i think it's like um hi doug all, all of my friends are heathens take it slow 21 <laughs> um 
So we're going to post a link that you can go to um, and you can start down the same path. It's a $27 course. If you click on it within the hour that you first open it, if you wait, it'll go up by their marketing company. Yeah. So, so it goes so, up by like 20 So don't click on it until, until you're until ready. You, to until you think you're ready to do, to do it because it'll save you 20 bucks to do it that way. Yeah. But it's um, it's an ebook and it's a, a, it comes along with some free coaching from this other marketing group that we work with. And uh, it's called Attraction Marketing Formula. And it, it starts out with you creating this avatar and really going into great depth so it was the start of our path and uh we we highly recommend it um but we're just so glad that you joined us today and every wednesday i wake up your badass with jake and joy and yep. if you got if, if you got value from what we had to say today give us a four and uh what else jake what else do we got? that's it i'm gonna post the link because there was a little flub in the beginning i didn't want to take the time to recap put all the stuff in so i will go right now after i'll edit the video and put the links in, the link into the description of this video um you can go ahead and click on that there and then we will definitely see you next week on wednesday but also um on friday mama will be going doing live with her a little quick uh, part of her story. So you'll have to really want to stay tuned for that. A little telenovela. Yeah. Stay yeah. tuned on Friday. Yeah. From Whistler. Yeah. All, All right. right thank, you guys. thank you guys so have much for joining week. us. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Brianna. Bye. Bye.